Hey everyone, this week we're focusing on Excel dates. Working with dates in Excel can be kind of tricky, and I wanted to point out a few really useful functions that I use a ton. Okay, so here's my problem. I run HR for a company and need to sort my employees by their hiring anniversary dates so I can plan for their annual reviews, pay raises, and promotions. Right now, they're sorted by their start dates. And that's not too useful for my purposes. For example, Larry Page started after Bill Gates, but Larry's anniversary on January 18th happens before Bill's anniversary every year. I need to somehow generate this year's anniversary date for each employee. Then I can sort by anniversary, which is what I've done in this second tab. This is showing my goal. Okay, going back to our first sheet, the key to our solution is the date function. If you enter a year, month, and a day, then it gives you a date. I entered the year, month, and day for Elon Musk's anniversary this year, and the date function outputs the date. But manually entering year, month, and day into the formula like I just did isn't very useful, so let's try to make this formula more dynamic. I'd like my formula to reference the start date in column B. My strategy to do this has three parts, one for the month, day, and year. Let's do the month first. There's a handy function called month that will grab the month of a date. And I just need to change the formatting from a date to a number. Okay. The month formula here outputs the month of Jeff Bezos' start date. 11 for November. And I can add the month function directly into my date formula, replacing 9 with month and a reference to column B, the start date. There's also a day function that works exactly like month. Here I'm pulling the day part of Jeff Bezos' start date, the 5th. And I can go back into my date formula and replace 6 with the day function and point it back at column B. Cool. I just have to figure out the year part now. There is a year function that works like the month and day functions, as you can see here, but the tricky thing is I want to generate the current year for this year's anniversary. Excel basically needs to know what year it is. Well, it's our lucky day because there's a function for that too. The today function always tells you the current date. I'm recording this on August 19th, 2013, and that's what it's showing me. If I open this tomorrow, it'll show August 20th, 2013. Now that I've got my today function over there, telling Excel the current year is easy. If I go back into my date formula, I want the year of today. This formula shows September 6, 2013 as Elon Musk's anniversary this year, but if I was looking at this next year, the year would update automatically to 2014, and that is pretty cool, am I right? Okay, before I drag this down, I need to go back into my formula and fix one thing, which is to anchor cell E1. Now I'm going to go copy that formula down to generate everyone's anniversary date. Last thing is I'm going to open up my auto filters and make sure I'm sorting on anniversary date, column C. And we're done. That's it for this week. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.